the worst part of my day is the commute. I mean, it, you know, you're basically just dealing with this grind. It, it'll run from, uh, you know, anywhere from an hour and 15 minutes to two and a half hours if the weather's really bad. Well, it does affect performance. I mean, you know, if you can't devote as much time to your job because you're, like, stuck on the street somewhere, you know, it does affect how well you can do your job. Um, you know, there's other things to do besides sitting in your car. You know, you got Indeed. family time, you can commute, it's just the uh, part of the ugly trade off. At least with the satellite radio, you have the selection that you want. You can, you can capture uh, whatever you're in the mood for listening to. <laughs> it definitely lightens the, my mood a bit, you know. I mean, haven't resorted to medications for it, so you know. Why don't you take a train to Parsippany? Oh, there's no train line that runs fr from uh, Metuchen. I think the nearest train station to Parsippany is uh, Convent Station or uh, maybe the Denville line. Um, it's not e exactly easy to get to from where I'm at. I mean, you'd basically have to go up to Newark and then hop on a train at Newark and change lines. And then, you know, you'd probably need either a network of shuttle buses or something like that just to make the ride easier. All right, Route 287 North. Welcome to my life, friends. It'll be congested hmm, probably through exit 14. Hopefully it won't take a half hour to go 10 miles, but it's happened before. Is there a way to avoid this? Oh, I mean, once you cast your lot with 287, you're pretty much stuck to it. Trying to take 202 up to Morristown or, or 202, 206 up to, you know, Parsippany area, it's all stop and go. Hooray! Mile marker six. Uh, you know, usually you don't see the traffic s slow up until you like really get tied up until you hit like mile marker ten, where there's a bunch of exits in pretty quick succession. Out in Bridgewater, it, it, that's where you get a lot of traffic coming on and off. We're in Edison right now, right? Uh, yeah. It's basically the Bridgewater exit that you'll see it. You'll see it kind of meander along like this. At least it's moving. When it stopped, you know, you know somebody just totally made a mess of things. Whether it's an accident or a car stalling or just some other problem. The Parkway at least gives you a couple options. Like if you take the Parkway up. You know, you could always take uh, uh, 78 to 24 or, you know, and then up to 287 or um, you could take 280 to uh, uh, 80 to get to where you need to be. But, um, you know, once you're on 287, there isn't really much of an alternative. And then there's like uh, some design flaws when they put together these freeways because, I mean, the area was probably a lot less developed when these were built. So you, you have uh, some people trying to cross a couple lanes of traffic to get in, from one exit to another. It's kind of a hazy day, so it's like a little glowing, you know? Very pathetic. What are we listening to? Uh, we're listening to Mexican Radio by, uh, I think it's Wall of Voodoo. If I don't like, let me say, Wall of Voodoo, correct. That's eastbound Route 80, trying to get on to 287. It's 9.30 in the morning and you still got traffic backed up all the way over there. 